Not sure how you fit in this. You should be all right. All right. <sighs> What's up, ladies and G's? The one snipes here today. We are in Columbus, Ohio, at the Greater Convention Center for the MLG tournament for a $120,000 prize pool. I have brought with me longtime friend and gaming associate Stupow61. Check out his gamer tag. Add him as a friend because he's a hard ass. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is the venue, the Greater Columbus Convention Center. I don't know how the fuck you say it. I don't remember. Great place to have anything. They put on a show no matter what. Uh, the vendors here so far have been really great. Stupow is a huge fan of the flips. Huge fan of the flips. Chocolate covered pretzels, pretzels. in a bag. They are pretty good. Uh, Dr. Pepper is also here giving away Sherry, Dr. Pepper. free cans of everything. Uh, both of those guys are. They have the MLG Pro Shop. Uh, Scuff is here. They're doing a turn in your headset for a free X7 new Turtle Beach headset. Oh, yeah, Turtle Beach. For real. Thousands of dollars worth of Astros in a trash can. <laughs> I've never what? seen anything like it. If you don't believe me, I'll take a fucking picture. Yeah, no shit. It's fucking crazy. I didn't believe it when I saw it, but I saw people do it. Uh, Stu Powell came in having not a clue what was going on or anything what to expect. Uh, what were your first thoughts coming in? My first thoughts were, damn, it's a long line to get my name tag or my, my wristband thing, which, yeah, got it. But, uh, which D1 Snipes was gracious enough to buy for me, so shout out to this bro. And, uh, you know, then we went through the line and got that, went inside, and I was like, what the hell is this place? It was really cool. I mean, like, I came in, there was bright lights, there was, uh, <laughs> it, it was dark. It could be mistaken you. for a dance club. Definitely. Time. <laughs> like, they had blue, purple, green, red, blue, like, lights just going everywhere. Lights, up, lights do flash everywhere, and there's a lot of dubstep dance music, electro music. Yeah, it was music. good. I was blown away. I mean, <laughs> my, my, my thoughts on this was big building with a bunch of TVs lined up in a row and a bunch of guys like looking around, a bunch of you know nerds looking around. Not the case. It was actually pretty legit. I was excited. Not to mention they had um, not just Call of Duty there. They had this Dota 2. <laughs> no idea what the hell that is. I, I still don't. I don't know if it's Dota or Dota. D-O-T-A 2. But Whatever the hell it is, their fans are wild for it. <laughs> Apparently, man. it's way more exciting than Call of Duty because <laughs> we're just sitting over there, pot shots going off. We get like the guy goes on like a double kill or something, and everybody's like, <sighs> "Good job!" Over there, so I see bright lights flashing on the screen. I don't know what's going on really, but like they're like, <laughs> ah! Fuck and him. it's just like the whole crowd stands up and we're over there like what the fuck is going on I'm gonna have to check this game out I don't uh, even know what's going on tomorrow we'll bring you some kind of review I don't Definitely. know what the hell's going on it was right it was okay. pretty entertaining apparently for them <laughs> but on to Ghosts on to Ghosts of the tournament uh, the first matchup was um, was yeah we'll go straight to the games TK beats Epsilon 3-2 to two. TK TK bro my boy Sharp, he doesn't know me, he never heard me. Probably doesn't even know I'm alive. But he's my, he's my he's my boy. He's Hoss. Stupo is a fan of Sharp. Sharp went huge in the Blitz game. Game three, had like ten captures. Back to back. Hardly died. He just, just kept going. I think he in was and like out. 17 and 6 or something like that. Just went absolutely crazy. Sharp. <laughs> was Big dog. That, and then it's in the awesome. last search game, game five, for the series, he, I think, had ten kills. There might have even been more than that. He yeah. I don't played know, really, really well. Really well tonight, in, yeah. In their... Uh, I hope to see the, him on top tomorrow. Yeah, if they pick up their domination game, TK is going to be the hardest fuck to beat. They're going to be really, okay. really good. Um, Not to mention, though, Epsilon... 
They were no joke either, though. Epsilon was good, good at domination. Round. Epsilon is good at domination, and they just they just flat out outslayed them in domination. They, but in, in search, that last search game was was really close. I mean, that could have went either way. Uh, TK got a, f a couple lucky breaks, really, true, and true. played really good as a team and shut them out pretty well. Took them down in the fifth round, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it was a good game. That's uh, definitely it. TK played well. Epsilon played well. That was a really good series to watch. Uh, it lasted a long time. Uh, up next is Fuse. The second series was Phase and oh, TCM. Yeah, it was Phase, yeah. Mm -hmm. The other European team. TCM came to play. Yes. TCM was fired up. Uh, FaZe had a huge crowd there. Uh, granted, yeah. Optic hasn't played yet, but so far... Phase has the the best following so far. They they had a crowd. They had their coach was going nuts. He had like the the phase symbol, symbol <laughs> cut in his hair. Cut into his hair. It if was, you guys didn't see that, it was sweet. Um, they were pumped. They came, they came pumped up, and I think did they take the first game, the first domination game? I'm not sure. Or was it Blitz? No, 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 no. TCM came out, beat him, beat him in Dom, beat him in Search. Then uh, Spacely went crazy. Or no, was it Sp was it Spacely? They had the grenade kill and the AR and like the eight kill streak. Or was it Classic? I think it was Classic. I think it was Classic. One of those. One of those two, two dudes, man. Went absolutely crazy. Grenade kill in the alley. AR kill out of bullets. Oh shit! Switched to my this SMG. Went on like a slaying spree. Blitz. Eight more guys probably went, went, went down. Went crazy, and they ended up winning the blitz game, and then they dropped the next Dom game, and uh, TCM won that series three to one, pretty convincingly. They they came to play. They played really really well. Flux was that guy? Flux, the guy uh, come up to be interviewed. I don't remember. His interview will be up later. I think it was Flux. He was yeah. a pretty humble guy. Yeah, I very was, humble. He, Talked about the other teams and how he was really expecting to play, and it was it was, it was good. a good interview. Him and good Sharp team. both got interviewed, and yeah, they Sharp both, they both really handled themselves well for as young as they were. Yeah. Uh, the last now, game that we saw personally, this is this is being well, recorded during the Envy Curse game. I gotta say, we, what we what, did we see three fourths of it. We walked out we, like the end of it. We left that game three. Yeah. And um, Fuse was tapping that ass. Fuse is on top of their game tonight. Fuse, I mean, beat the shit out of Soar and Domination. Uh, domination, they went went through them. Six o good. six o to men search. Search six zero skunked. Soar ended up. I think they took the blitz. Did they? And then Fuse beat them in Domination. I mean, it that was more convincing than the TC. M over phase game. That was Fuse came ready to play. They they announcers gave them some shit at the beginning for being online warriors. Yeah, but Fuse came ready. They and they're they land warriors jacked, now. They, jacked up. These guys are legit. Watch out for them. Not to mention, Sore may come back tomorrow. It's true. Put the hammer Sore down. is a good team. They might do some soul searching. <laughs> Sore searching. <laughs> Sore searching. Yeah. Right now, I predicted Envy to win this, but it looks like Curse just took game one. <laughs> so Curse is up on Envy, one to nothing right now. They just won domination on Sovereign. Uh, we'll be back here later tonight to give you a short wrap-up of everything and then the brackets. The brackets for tomorrow, the one through four seed got a bye. So, Complexity was the one seed. Uh, I believe it was Curse Las Vegas is the two seed. Unite Gaming, the three seed. And Optic was the four seed. So, tomorrow, Complexity will play TCM in the morning. That will be the first game. Then it will be... That will be a really good matchup because TCM is playing really well and Complexity is Complexity. If they come ready to play, they're going to be tough to beat. Yeah. Um, then we have... My money's on TK, bro. Well, TK will play Curse Las Vegas tomorrow. That will be a really, that's, really good yeah, game. Yeah, that's going to be a matchup. That one's going to be... 
those all are going to be close games. There you're going to see if we get to game five, two at least hellacious search yeah. and destroy games. That means going to be fun. You all there on Twitch. That's the one to watch. For yes, sure. for sure. Uh, Optic will play the winner of Envy Curse New York. The one's uh, all about that Optic. Um, um, I like Optic, but. I really can't go against Envy. I think Envy knows this game too well. With Proofy's gun skill and Merc and Rambo not giving a shit about anything but winning, mm. Envy's hard to pick against. I don't Rambo's know. If, smart. If Rambo gets his shit together and starts slaying a little bit, I think they're going to be too tough to beat. Definitely. Search and Destroy, I think they'll roll on like teams. Tenders, man. Uh, and then the last... Game in the winner's bracket will be Fuse versus Unite. Um, that one's just going to be a shit show, in my opinion. Fuse is going to talk shit. Killa on Unite is going to talk shit. It's going to be fun to watch. I don't care who wins. But, <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll give you predictions. I'll draw a bracket. Um, let me know your predictions. Who you think's gonna take this? Right on. Um, click that button down there. I think that side's the like button. Click the subscribe button here to see more tomorrow. Uh, Stu Pow, any last thoughts before we cut out? My last thoughts are thank you for having me. You know, up here in Columbus with you and hanging out and of course having my midnight brew of coffee and probably won't be able to sleep, but it yes. doesn't matter. Definitely late, but yeah, it's I'm excited for the next couple of days. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna exciting. be. Um, I'm really pumped to watch. Hope you guys tune in too. It'd be sweet. Yes, tune in. Leave a like. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>